Bloomies are forever. everyone I'm Melissa I'm Bear and welcome to our channel and mega haul video it's fancy shirt day it is fancy shirt day for Bear <laughs> you want to tell us why you decided to wear this amazing shirt I found for 50 cents well first of all this amazing shirt does remind me of a shirt that I had back in the disco-ish days I used to hang the out disco you know. days well not not really disco days like the 90s oh okay yeah, at, at, a, at, a, <laughs> at a disco a, oh, got a, it. At got a it. disco. Like a roller rink disco? No, 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 like a, a dance club. Because Gary Knight oh. used to spin there, so I used to go and hang out there. Bear has musician friends. Yes, and I have a friend that's a DJ, too. So he was always responsible for the entertainment there. Very cool. So anyways, yes. But I said I don't always have to wear a t-shirt, so yeah. I, tonight I just decided to wear you a shirt. You know what? This isn't the one I found for 50 cents. Okay. The one I found for 50 cents is tan with pineapples. This one is blue with pineapples. I did find this at a thrift shop though. By the time we get done with this video, you're going to be like, I can't believe how long they talked about the shirt at the beginning before they even started. <laughs> we will get started. We went to the Goodwill bins yesterday and then today I woke up and I was like, I wanna to go to the bins again. Very rare, so. And we pulled into the parking lot, we got there. Bear woke up at like 12.30, which is a little bit earlier than normal. <laughs> we pull in. It's Saturday. I forgot that it was Saturday. Yes. And the bins are packed. There are no shopping carts to be found. We had to follow somebody out. You followed a that's, second person out. That's true. I did follow some people Hi, out. Hi, Angie. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for giving us your cart. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. And I wonder how many people in that little passing said, wait, what? Bear wakes up at 1230 and that's a little early for him? Well, you stay up till 4 or 5 o'clock for King I just wonder how many people night. caught that. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Also, we will do, do this soon. Promise. It was my birthday this week. Yes, I have so many birthday cards and we will be opening P.O. Box mail at the end of this. If you have never seen us before, we are not people that just show things. We have stories. Mostly Bear has stories because I'm a horrible storyteller. We chit chat back and forth. We've been married for 17 and a half years. Oh, we're really we're really going after the rookies, aren't we here? Right? Yes, okay, yes. Knows. yes. Yes, that's right. Okay. So, um, this is not just like if you're just looking for things this is oh, like yeah. a video. Yes, yeah, they might get a little bored with us. Yeah. That's what you're saying. Yeah. We're, I don't know how that could be possible. But. Put us on in the background. Look at the screen once in a while. Yeah. We're good to go. Yes. Okay, so this was the Goodwill haul yesterday. We spent $29 total and have two medium-sized bags. The guy checking out Paul was so nice. <laughs> he separated glass for 49 cents a pound, electronics and hard goods for yes. 69 cents a pound, and clothing for 159 a pound. So everything had different prices, which again was different than today, was different than any no. other time we've been to the bins. But that's general pricing. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna get started. Yes. You wanna do the envelopes first? I'm sure. so excited. I was excited hands, not jazz hands. I remember from before. Yeah, that's a pause. <laughs> yes, applause. Fine greeting cards. They're just envelopes and they have this red, almost like dipped in watercolor look at the back of them. Yes. And I there's see. gotta be like 50. I send out, we send out things all the time for Patreon and thank you cards. And a lot of times I wanna include more than the card and the card envelope is too small. So these will be used for that, like to include address labels or something bigger than a card. Well, I like it. I'm glad you explained what, what they were going to be used for because I didn't know. Yeah, I've always looked for envelopes and envelopes on Amazon are about, for that quality, about $15. And again, we paid what, like 50 cents? This, am I to dump all of this out? No, you are okay. not to dump <laughs> okay, this out. Okay, so why don't you take care of this then? Okay, this 
is here. Okay. This entire thing we found, I didn't, haven't even really opened it and explored it to the full extent, are stickers, scrapbooking papers, vellum, really gorgeous things. What's vellum? Like a very sheer paper that's expensive. Like a sheet of vell vellum is like 50 cents just okay. for one sheet of paper. And what do you do with that? No, is it a literal sheet of paper? Yes. Oh, so it's, it's but it's not made of paper. It's made of like a see-through plastic. But you could write or print on it or something if you wanted to. No. What is the purpose of this? Scrapbooking? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, all right. So That's these fine. were just two of the stickers I pulled out. A lot of the stickers are this brand, which is Jolie's Boutique. And guess how much these stickers are in walmart or joanne's fabric or something just this well, one pack well, of stickers. okay well i'm going to say that they should be i, I see them in walmart for like a dollar 99. yeah they're probably about three dollars okay for one pack of okay. stickers that's not as crazy as some of the prices you can get. yeah and then look at how many stickers I yes, got. i'm wonderful. so excited about that's my wonderful. stickers okay. okay good the next thing were insoles. They are brand new. I can tell they're brand new. They are N-A-O-T. That's the brand name. And they're a size 40, which happens to be my size, a size 9. These are really nice. You could put them in a pair of shoes you already own. You could put them in a pair of this branded shoes. But I would expect to get probably about $10 for them. Yeah. I'm sorry, I made a face because of the chair. Oh. You, you personally would have nothing to put those in, though, correct? I mean, you know what I mean? You wear... My boots, possibly. I have oh, one okay. pair of boots because I wear Birkenstocks every yes, day. My feet are just, like, really finicky. Um, I would pick the, put them in my boots if I used them. Okay. Do you want to tell us what this bag of white wigs is? This bag of white wigs is a Santa and Mrs. Claus get up. Ask me why I know that. How do you know that, Barry? Do why? You? Because I used to own a Santa booth at a mall in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. Yeah, so there's, they look new. They're really nice quality. They are? You did own the Santa booth. Yes, yeah, so that's where kids come and get their pictures taken with Santa. Yes. And, and the Easter Bunny as well. Yeah, I didn't know what this was, but I guess this is Mrs. Claus? And, oh, I thought, see, I thought this was like a bonnet thing. That there, bonnet? that... Uh, that is Santa. This is a Santa beard, I think is what this is. Oh, that's the beard. Yes, I think that's the beard. Okay. And that must well, I be... I think this is the beard. Okay, well, this must be the head piece. Then. That's you know the what woman I'm, yes. thing. No, no, no. Has... I'm saying, I, I'm, I'm, I'm taking this back. I thought one of these things was a bonnet. That, I don't know that, what a bonnet means. A bonnet is an old ladies wear those little things on their head. Oh, no. Look like a... That's the Mrs. Claus wig. You're right. You're right. That's the Mrs. Claus wig. Okay. All right. And then this is the beard. Yes, but doesn't Santa have, have hair too? Long hair? No, he doesn't. Just just the beard. Okay. Yeah, and then this is the mustache. So this is Mrs. Claus wig. Yeah. Okay. I, I didn't look those up, but I thought those were fun enough to try. Good. Next item. This is brand new food paste. This is food coloring, but in a gel form. And I've had food coloring, like really nice food coloring. It's pricey and you use just the tiniest little bit. So this is food coloring, but it's the student version and has all nine kits. So I would expect this to retail, actually, <laughs> it was $9, but this is vintage. So I don't know if the food coloring will still work. I have to look this up. So this is somebody learning to be a cake decorator and stuff? And it's a student thing? Yeah, I guess okay. so. It's weird that it's student. Yes, that is weird. Like nobody else could use this unless you're a student. I don't know. Sorry, Barry. There may be a professional. There may be some decorator. legal ramifications we're not aware, we're unaware of. <laughs> I also picked up some package toppers, package ribbons. You know the deal with me. I found this really cool, fuzzy but not acrylic yarn that I liked for just wrapping up eBay packages when they sell. Yeah. Do you want to tell us about this great? Oh yes, item? I would tell them about this. Uh, this rolled up flexible item is something that you pretend you're in jail with or no, not good. or you put it on your sink and let the your uh stuff dry yeah and we, and we have great. one of these we have one of these yeah we paid uh, about 20 dollars on amazon for right. it worth every penny if you have a double sink mm -hmm. even if you have a dishwasher this thing is awesome yes so awesome that we couldn't leave a second one behind <laughs> right. although our 
five-year-old one looks one. brand new still. Mm -hmm. You can also, if you have your, what I what I did with ours is if your sink isn't very, as wide as this, you can cut these. It's just rubber. Yeah, you can easy. cut it with regular scissors. Mm -hmm. It's really nicely made. Yeah. Highly recommend. Yes, and you can roll it right up if you want it out of your sight. Yeah, so you can put that on a laundry room sink, any sink that you're looking to drain things. Yeah, this is letting the stuff dry. This is terracotta and it was made in Italy and there is a white hair on it. I, I liked it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's white glaze enamel inside. It's beautiful and it's heavy. Is it for like burning incense and stuff? Is that what it's for? I think it's probably an olive dish. Like when for food? You, yeah. Oh. I think it's, it doesn't say anything about not putting food on it. So I would assume you could. You could also line up candles oh. and have it like be a drip tray because it's mm -hmm. easy to wipe out. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm either going to have to sell it on eBay or YouTube and ship it. And shipping's going to be pricey because it's how heavy and just all the packaging. So I might try that first. If not Facebook, if not, it made the video and maybe I'll send it to my sister. And they used to make drainage pipe out of this. Out of terracotta. Terracotta. I used to hear that all the time. It's like, we're really? drain, or you have bury terracotta pipe, which was kind of, I mean, I'm sure it's the best they had at the time, but you know, it's breakable. So when you're covering yeah. that back over, you have to be really careful till you get the base on it. I wouldn't think then terracotta would bleed like the problems they have in Flint, for example, the pipes. The or water pipe cause trouble. disintegrated. Yes. So mm -hmm. maybe terracotta doesn't do that. Interesting. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. The next item is this little envelope. It's a mystery item. It's a mystery item. What do we think it is? I have no idea. I think it's an, some sort of Allen wrench. Oh, I thought it was in, there was a shoe shine kit that was super cool. Probably 60, 70 years old. I looked it up. Um, I made friends with a few people that day, yesterday. And so I gave it to somebody. It's not a, it's a... A hanger. Oh, you it has it, nothing to do with put shoes. It, put it in the wall and you can hang something. Do you need that? <laughs> I don't think so, but it can certainly go in my hooks uh, compartment. In the... There has alphabetized <laughs> our tools. <laughs> and the, well, the parts and stuff, yes. It's very sexy. <laughs> well, I'm not sure about the sexiness of it, but it's good to find stuff that way. Yeah. Then I found this adorable little purse. Things we find at the bins have a few purposes. One, sometimes I buy things just to have it in a video and explain this item's not worth much, but this general category look up, you'll be surprised. So like a teaching moment. So I, some items are sold on eBay or YouTube. Some are sent to Patreon members or my niece. So this will probably be a Patreon member or my niece. It's a really cute little beaded bag. It's really tiny. <laughs> You could fit maybe a lipstick and something else really tiny in there, a tissue. So the other night I was sitting somewhere listening to music mm -hmm. and they have different things on the TV. Yes. Okay. So one of the things on the TV was this uh, car show, this okay. grand car show. They had a Volkswagen that had was made out of wrought iron. You know what iron is, like wrought iron? Like, sure you know, do. And it looked like this. So you, so you, so the guy driving, like the inside, you could totally see everything because okay. it was just the whole shape of the Volkswagen was made out of wrought iron. Cool. Yeah, yeah. As you can see, you can see everything. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was probably worth more than our little beaded purse. <laughs> I bet it was. Yeah. Vera Bradley, a luggage. What do you call this? A luggage tag, tag mm -hmm. that Name you can tag. put in your address. One of our Patreon members travels um, by train, by plane, by car, by ship. So I'll probably send this to her. I'm sure she could use another luggage tag. Somebody out there surely has to be referencing the planes, trains, and automobiles movie from John Candy and Dan Aykroyd back in the day. Hmm. I don't think I've seen that movie. I would think you probably have it. <laughs> <laughs> Not my kind of movie, huh? No. Bear made this table and lamp over here, which I'm realizing you can't see, so I'll insert a photo. And he's going to say, no, he didn't. But it used to be a very tall, larger table. And he cut it down. I adjusted it. I didn't make it. I know, but <laughs> okay. I mean, of course, but you still made it into the table it is today. That's right. <laughs> Don't you forget it, table. And I hate to mar the surface, even though my cup, you want to show my cup <laughs> here, which I bought on Amazon and I love, and I drink a lot of water. <laughs> mm. I don't want to put it on that table. So I finally found coasters that I like. They're Tommy Bahama. <laughs> But they're 
they're not very colorful. They're kind of more islandy. They're not really big enough for this. They are totally not <laughs> big enough for this one, but we do have cups that are smaller yes. that I use sometimes. Mm -hmm. Again, a Patreon member is um, into cross stitch. So I thought I might as well send her this. It was next to nothing. If she doesn't use it, maybe she can pass it along. When somebody becomes a Patreon member, we have a $2 level that gets you full access to our videos 24 hours in advance and first pick at any of the items you see. And we mostly, probably like five days out of seven a week, you. post a little bit of an update. There's extra mm -hmm. videos, a whole bunch of things. But the highest level, and I think I only have one extra spot, sorry about that, um, gets a box every month of like some curated items, some packing supplies, mostly packing supplies. And somebody will let me know. I'll ask, what hobbies do you like? Do you like lighthouses? Do you like makeup? Just random yes. things. Yes. So, what, what's curia curated? curated um, items? Made especially for them. Oh, okay. Okay. Like most of the boxes have tissue papers, ribbons, that kind yes. of thing. But yes. then there's extra items based on what okay. they like. I didn't know what the word meant. Yeah. I found this. It looks old. It is machine stitched, but there's snaps that are metal and, and probably date back at least until the 40s, I would assume. Now, so what is this called? A bonnet. Okay, and like, let's go back in the <laughs> tape now that we have it. It was not long ago when you said, I don't know what a bonnet is. Well, I didn't know what a bonnet was for that particular situation. The only bonnet I knew of was this kind of thing. Okay. So when you said a mesh bonnet, is that yeah, what I, you said? Yes, I thought that's what Santa's uh, wife had that kind of... Oh, it's the Santa thing. Yes, yes you're right. I bought it. So, um, I don't know. I'll try to sell it. If not, it'll be sent to my niece. Why would my 11, 10-year-old niece want this? I don't know. She might. But it's a cool thing. You want to tell the story? No, you tell the bag? story. Go ahead, tell the story. A gazillion years ago, we bought these bags at the Goodwill bins. We'll say what they are. Okay, they're space bags, vacuum space bags. Okay, that's so, it. All right. And you put pillows or comforters or whatever and suck out the air. And a pillow that goes from like this thick is now like paper thin. It's amazing. If it you've is. never seen it, it's like magic. So I sent some to Patreon members because they were brand new and we kept like two or three of them. Mm -hmm. So my mom comes this past week. We bring everything down from our attic. That's where we keep our guest thing. There's like Santa hat, Santa stuff <laughs> um, in the air. We pack it all up. We're really excited to try these for the first time. We realize we're missing one. Like we need <laughs> one more bag. And I had sent them to people and I was like, oh. So we went on Amazon and looked and they're like $15. Yeah, we're not doing that. Right. So. You found this, and found it this. was in the original box, mm -hmm. but we're not paying for the box because it's ours. So we were really excited. And we should also say the ones that we have were given to us. That's the first ones. Yes, were that's they what given to us, or did we find them at the bins? I, th I thought you said Dave and... Uh... Oh, they were given to us. Neighbors moved Neighbors. and invited us over yes. and asked us if we wanted any of their things, Yes, um, which was really fun and like Christmas. Mm-hmm. So that's, you're right, we didn't even pay for them. We didn't pay for so first we were really it. excited to find this yes. extra one, like way too excited. Yeah. This is a gift bag. Amazon sends these. There's always an option on Amazon if you want to send it as a gift, the item you're buying. And it's like $2 more to send a gift bag. This is the gift bag they send out. Well, I mean, you have to buy a good bit of stuff before they use this bag, though. Probably. They probably have different sizes, but I yeah. know somebody sent us. This is very nice. I think the scale came from a subscriber, and I think it was in one of these bags. And I was like, oh, this is a really nice bag. Mm -hmm. So, again, I'll just use this for packaging. It's nothing I'm going to resell. A lot of these things will actually be used and passed along. Good. I like that. Yeah. I'll insert a photo of this. These are belt. Buckles. Buckles. I'll show you a few of them. Some are marked. They're not gold. They're not like going to bring $100. But there were so many of them that I thought maybe maybe somebody would want they the may? collection. I don't know. And there are some belts in here. Here's the belt. <laughs> There's a black one and like a top tan one. So... All of the belts are interchangeable, and I just thought it was pretty cool as a whole. 
If there would have been one or two, I would skip, but because there's like 20 of them, yeah, they're cool. Fun. Yeah. I pick up a lot of little bags, if I haven't mentioned it. We bag everything up throughout our house, like all of our electrical cords are in one area. All of the things in my purse are grouped in bags. Just to organize things, we keep things in bags. And this one is brand new. I'll probably pass it along to somebody. Again, lightweight. What did I pay for this? 10, 20 cents? And I could put something in that that I even send out on eBay. It looks way better here than it did at the store. Yeah? Yes, because I was wondering, I, I couldn't tell, but now I can tell that it's definitely brand new and yeah. very bright. And yeah, even the inside crisp. is pristine. Yes. Mm -hmm. Pristine. Pristine, yes. Yes. Clothing. We didn't find much clothing yesterday at the bins, but what I did find, if it doesn't sell here, I'm going to send it to Thread Up. Oh. One of the people I follow and who just has my utmost respect is Vandy's Closet. That's her username. I'll link her below. She sends things to ThreadUp and makes a killing. ThreadUp is an online consignment shop that sells your items and you get a small percentage. She is doing that basically full time. She just buys things and sends up to ThreadUp. So I'm trying to do a video where like I'll send this to ThreadUp and I paid, I don't know, let's say 75 cents. I'll weigh it and figure it out. And if ThreadUp gives me $4, I've done nothing more than just basically put it in a bag that's prepaid. Yeah. Are you going to tell us about this particular shirt? Yeah, no. this is LuLaRoe. Yeah. Okay. We all know LuLaRoe at this point. This is their Randy style. That's their baseball kind of style. Yes. And it has vampires. It's a Halloween collection. It is an extra, extra small. I'm not an extra, extra small. <laughs> And I feel like this would probably close to fit me. So this is probably oh, so closer to a small a medium. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you know what this is called? What this guy has his hairline? You know what his hairline's called? Uh, a widow's peak. Widow's peak. Yeah. Dad, Dad had one of those. He said it was a sign of beauty. A sign of beauty. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> the next item was probably one of the better items of the day. <laughs> um, it is Mindset by X. CVI. XCVI has a good following. This is a size large. It's olive green and has kind of an oversized fit and then smaller sleeves with a dropped shoulder. So I will be selling this here. How do you know that's, could that be Roman numerals too, that what you said, those words? I don't think C is a Roman numeral, is it? Okay, that's what I was asking. What, what is the number XCMI? Maybe I'm wrong about that. No, maybe no. C is, and I don't think I, I'm thinking. I was thinking of the X's and the M's would be. No, the M's aren't either. Yeah, I think M is. is M C one? might be. I forget Roman numerals. I haven't thought okay. about Roman <laughs> numerals what, in forever. Yeah. Um, but I, I'll sell it here if you want it. I'll have the price on the screen. It looks like it's in really good shape, right? Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. This is a fanny pack by Kipling. Okay. We mm -hmm. don't find Kipling that often. Of course, you had know something about Kipling, right? Yeah. Who's the, tell me something about Kipling. Um, they are a really well-made item. They might even have a lifetime guarantee. I'm gonna have to check into that. So Kipling is a company. A company that, that makes, makes like outdoorish, backpackish items. Yeah, they might even have hats at this point. I okay. don't know. So I'll again sell this here. I'm not going to send this into thread up. I will try this on eBay. It's in really good shape. It looks distressed, like it has like a weird tie dye thing happening, but that's how it's meant to look. Okay. I would keep it if I didn't already have a fanny pack. Hmm. This little scarf was probably a free bonus with a bottle of perfume or something else. It's Yves Saint Laurent, which is probably mispronounced by me, and is a high-end brand. This will just be an extra freebie in somebody's like glasses because it's a soft material. Maybe they could clean their glasses with it or I don't know, something like that. No, again, this is a designer, this person? It is. It's... A high-end designer. So she makes more than scarves. They do. They. Yes. This is Boston proper. It is their newer label, size small. It is a racer back You can neck. tell it's very good material. Right? Yes. Um, very sleek. The 90s, early 2000s was very much about this neckline. I know it's come back around. So it is a little black dress 
with a slit up one side. Not a huge slit, but definitely enough to be um, showing some leg. Oh no, both sides, both sides mm -hmm. have the slit. So that's what that looks like. And the last piece of clothing is for me. I don't have that many. I probably have like 30 shirts in my closet, so I'm not lacking for clothing, but I don't have any, I don't have many long sleeve sweaters that aren't disintegrating every time I wash them. <laughs> I have an aqua one. Yeah. That's just, but I'm going to love it until it, I can't anymore. So this is Tommy Bahama size large. It's probably men's. Oh, it'll be perfect for you. I'm totally wearing this all of the time. So we are going to clear the table and pull out the rest of yesterday's haul. Are we letting it run? Or are we yeah, let it run. Okay. okay. The second bag from the first haul, again, all of this was $29. I'm going to dump. So we did pay for the bag. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you... <laughs> it's okay, it's brand new, Magic Kingdom. We love reusable bags. I might send this to somebody though, if I sell a Disney item, this might be the freebie. Okay. Burlap ribbon, bear found. Again, package topper. You know how often I go through a ribbon. What, what what do other people use this? Like, what, what do they use it for? Just a Christmas ribbon? tree to oh, like oh, okay. swirl around the yes. Christmas tree or yes. holiday decorations. There was an amazing shoe thing. I've already mentioned that, like this big shoe. Shoe shine box. A yes. shoe shine kit. Shoe yeah. shine kit is what it was. And probably from the 40s, I, 50s? I, I'm probably, that one looks like in maybe in the 60s. Oh, even that probably, late. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because it looked pretty good. Yeah, it was yeah. in really good shape. But again, it wasn't worth it. So yeah. I did pick up a lot of the things that went with it because we do sell shoes occasionally. Bear cleans a lot of shoes. <laughs> so we picked up, I'll just show you briefly, stuff for the business. Now I did pick up a whole bunch of these um, Kiwi shoe polishes shoe polish. and they're marked 39 cents on the back <laughs> which i didn't realize i can probably sell these as collectibles people are doing that and getting like i don't know maybe a dollar to a can if you lot them up i will open them at least and see if they're usable if not i'll sell them as a collectible do you know what this is for to open it yes yeah we okay. have that actually in our laundry room okay and it's the same they haven't really changed the, the look design. Yeah, at all. <laughs> and I found these um, little copper tone plates for your shoes. I just thought they were adorable. I, I wore these. I put these on my shoes in school. Did you? Because I wanted to hear my, my heels click going down the hall. That's awesome. <laughs> You're awesome. <laughs> Some other shoe shining. It's like all throughout. So um, I just picked up a lot of shoe shining kit. Another one of these. I have three cans of cordovan shoe shining which is like a purple pink color i don't know why i picked up three of these i've never seen a shoe in this color mm, nor have i okay what else would you like to show do you want to show these oh yes these are chip bag clips we love these yep they're what did you say they're there's uh these aren't but the first oh. um way i found out about these was a pampered chef that yeah. janelle one of our friends back in pennsylvania had and I bought some and we loved them and it was probably 10 to 15 years ago and so far I think we don't have a singular one from Pampered Chef. We've replaced them over the years. Sure. We also found erasers. Well we did find erasers but in talking I didn't realize uh, earlier before you guys didn't see this but she was saying how oh, you hate this I hate the sound of pencils. Sound of pencil. Yeah. I, I didn't know that was a thing for her. I would just never have pencils in the house. Well, here's the thing. When you're using pencil, I'm not really there. So you can use <laughs> pencils still. So you don't have I to. I just use them for lumber and stuff if you're cutting things, probably. Cutting lumber. That's right. Really um, but your pencil erasers are always like rock hard. Yes. And they, yes. They, they go bad. Yeah. Right? Weird. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because we probably bought them at the bins, the pencils. <laughs> well. <laughs> I mean, that's any pencil, though. I don't know. Yeah, this will be sent to a Patreon member who likes reusable bags and um, has makeup. It's an Ulta Beauty brand new, really pretty metallic makeup bag. Shiny. The next one, do you want to tell us about? This is a Lily Pulitzer handbag. It is in excellent condition. Yeah, I guess you could use it as a clutch, but it's probably a makeup bag. 
Oh. Or like to corral things together. Things would certainly be corralled if they were in here together. Yes, that yeah. is, is true. The outside is pristine. The inside needs a wiping. But again, it was at the bin. So what did I pay like 50 cents for it? And originally was $35 or some ridiculous price. You found these. I did. Tell us about them. Well, I thought that they were just ice cube trays, but of course they could be like jelly, jello trays or something. Yeah. Crayons, people melt crayons together. And then what? Like if you unwrap a whole bunch of colors and then yes. put little pieces. I understand the process. You, yeah, when you why them, Why would you do that? Because then you have multicolor crayons. As, kid, you're, as you're writing, it comes in different colors. Okay. Yeah, and it's a child's craft that a lot of school teachers do. Mm -hmm. You can also um, use these for chocolates, like pop out. I like that idea. Right? That's the best one so far. Yeah. So Flamingos and Ikea makes these fish. It's a really nice condition for Ikea. Like sure. fill this one. Okay. <laughs> well, right? Well, I'm not sure how much wear and tear these take, but yes, I mean, it's good. <laughs> Tell us about these. Oh, rubber bands. The other day, I, we rarely need a rubber band, but we used to have an entire big, huge ball of rubber bands. That so we other, found at the bins. So I, the other day, I was like, what happened to the rubber ball? Well, you want to guess? Of course. It was given to our eight-year-old neighbor. He said, can I have these rubber bands? We're like, yeah. If he asks for something, <laughs> unless he's asking for the camera return. He was, uh, yeah. Well, he was asking for the camera password. Uh, for or security, our security camera, camera password. <laughs> Hi, Jason. Yeah. We love you. We're yeah. not giving you our security password. That's right, password. Jason. But we bought a camera overall with all the equipment. It was like 800 to to $1,000. We didn't like it. It wasn't as good as our cheaper camera. So we sent it back and he's like, I wish I would have gotten it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that he thinks we're so rich we can just hand out a thousand dollars. Yeah. So we bought some rubber bands. Mm -hmm. Another item that will probably just be sent to somebody is this really cool embossed kind of tablecloth material. I think you said. Bag. Yeah. Well, it's textured. Yeah. It's textured. So yes, it, it, it reminds me of like those tablecloths you could wipe off easily. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a cool material. Yeah. Another little thing, Kendra Scott, I have three pieces from ThreadUp that I'm selling. And because this is so lightweight, I thought I'm going to include this when one of those pieces sell. So um, just little things like dust bags can make a difference. Okay. Let's talk about some glasses. Okay. Well, the other day, my girl found some glasses that, I'm going to put my eye out with that one, um, were deemed pretty worthy of picking up yeah. we'll see how it goes they're currently for sale uh, for two hundred dollars and i yeah. have 10 watchers yeah so so now we're very careful about picking up all glasses since we found those yeah even the glasses we pick them up if they have like um markings inside like the brand these don't have any kind of lenses so i'm okay to wear them without getting dizzy mm -hmm. but you don't want to pick up any that have a cheaper connotation or no markings because that's really hard but people can bring these frames into their eye doctor he'll just pop these out and make them custom new frames and most people's eyeglass insurance will cover these currently i think what we have here is the uh were you, you were a reporter miss wonder woman when you had that look with the current glasses <laughs> like your wonder woman that's what she was before she would like you know take her glasses off. A reporter? Off. I, I don't know if she now was. Now I'm Wonder Woman. I don't know if she was a reporter or what she was, but yes. Yeah. Okay. This is a silly thing. I knew about these because I use Crest White Strips and there's a kit. There's like a dozen kinds of Crest White Strips. Good luck finding which ones work best. But there is one of their kits that comes with this light. You put on the Crest White Strips and then at the end for five minutes you do this light. It turns on like a ultra whatever pretend well dentists have that now do they that that the technology well that color that uh light thing they had put that in my mouth already to whiten your teeth i don't know what it was for but it was oh, it was that same color thing. but anyway the lights sell for like a solid 15 to 30 dollars which is almost the price of the kit so <laughs> good find um really quickly i found one of my favorite things to find at the bins is something I needed anyway that I've been putting off buying, which are these little clips. Yes. Do you want to grab one? I do because you must put them on your finger once you have them in your hand. Bear likes to play with them. I put my hair up every day, all day long, even sometimes sleep with it. And I use these to just keep my bun in place. 
and I have been breaking them. My hair is fairly thick, so um, I break them. So, thanks. Well, if it's one thing we want to do is keep your bun in place. Right? Yes. Don't I don't want a falling on. down bun. No. Here's another shoe shiny thing. Yes. Okay. A buffer. Oh. Do you want to tell us about this you found? <laughs> I found this little uh, lint roller. Look how tiny it yes. is. It's like a purse size lint roller. Is that the deal? Is that why? Probably, yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But um, I probably won't put this in my purse. I'll probably include it in somebody's Patreon box or as a package topper. But I don't know how much this would have cost at the, the store. Probably a dollar. But I'm sure you could buy something like nothing. that at Dollar Tree for, yes. Yeah. A Nikon um, USB charger to plug in your camera. These probably go for about 5 to $10. And we have an icon, so I know what these go for. Good find. Probably cost us next to nothing. I incorrectly thought that was a remote charger. I thought you plugged this in, charged this unit, and then you could plug it in, but it's not that. Yeah, the charge won't stay. It's, right. it's just a receptacle. Mm -hmm. A little mirror with a castle and hot air balloon. That's some famous castle that you've seen that picture a thousand times, like on a poster. I believe you. I don't know what it is, but... Switzerland, you think? Yeah, it's some, some kind of mountain like range said, in the some background. Famous castle. A little rooster chicken. What is this? That's a chicken, and mom had those sitting on her things. She in did the, in the microwave. Well, not in a microwave, but on each side of the, this kitchen sink were those shelves. Yes. So they were sitting on there, too. His dad built uh, the house in the early 50s, I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, it was really And the yes. kitchen was charming. Mm -hmm. And you're right, your mom did have these types of things. This one is marked Japan. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to get for this, if anything, but it is stinking adorable. And the last thing out of that specific bag, no, that's false. We have more things. Never <laughs> mind. Um, Downton Abbey keychains. I'll probably send one to my sister, maybe somebody else on Patreon. Have you ever tried to watch any of that show? I tried. Did yep. you try? No, because uh, it's a period piece. It's really, I'm sure once you get into it, you love it. I, I couldn't get into it. I couldn't do it. I tried. I tried several times. Well, I'm sure that downtown Abbey, Delton Abbey people will be happy you at least tried. Downton, yes. Downton. Yes. Tell us about our paintbrushes and cup. Oh, first of all, I found the paintbrushes. Uh, they were in a bag, and I thought they were makeup brushes, but then I realized, well, through her, that... These scrapers are also for uh, pottery. Yeah. So that's what these are pottery. The cup itself that is in, I have a dolly that I uh, carry all my equipment, music equipment back and forth when I have gigs. And I had put a plastic cup on the side of it as a How cup. How did you get that to stay to that pole on the dolly? With a screw inside oh, you, the cup. You actually. Yeah, so I it. drilled it out and I put a screw on the inside of the cup. Got it. So it'd be a cup holder for my soda. Or not soda, water. Uh, so, but it broke because it was a little, you know, stiff. And this is, I'm hoping it'll last So he's last putting a just something in this. It's yeah. just a cup holder. Yeah, on like the side a, of the a Coke bottle full of water. Yeah, that's, that's really what, what you is. put. Yes. Um, these brushes do look to be going for about, I knew that was going to happen. Uh, there's extra clay in there for about 15 to $20. They're really nice brushes. They're Duncan, and this is the professional series. These are um, the economy series. So I'll probably just lot them together, but I would expect to get about $10 at least. Okay. Next, I found two Tervis cups. One had slight crack and was like a child size. This one was priced at our local Goodwill, which the prices are crazy. If you haven't been following us on Instagram, I post there. You're not missing much. <laughs> but I went after my lidocaine injections to the local Goodwill since I was passing right past. And they had a half used thing of shaving cream that was rusty and missing the cap priced for $1.99. So it's not shocking to me that things wind up at the bins. This was priced originally for $5.99 and is missing the lid. And it has like a weird brand on it. It's not just like blue swirl. Yeah. So good cup, might use it in the bathroom, might use it somewhere else in the house. We keep cups for our paint brushes. Yes. And like a few other things for taller items. We, we like organization, especially <laughs> when we can get the item for sure. really inexpensive. This was glass. Our checkout guy, Paul, who was exceptionally nice yesterday, nice. priced our hard goods at 69 cents a pound, 
the soft goods, so like clothing linens at $1.59 a pound and glass at 49 cents a pound. So this was about 60 cents. I thought it would be beautiful up on the board. It has the bubbles in it. I really just liked it. Is there a name for that type of glass with the bubbles in it? Or, okay. Bubble glass? I don't, well, I don't know. have to let I, us know. <laughs> but isn't it pretty? It is cool. Yes. I, I have a lot for the board, <laughs> so I didn't need anything, but it was so pretty. It was mm -hmm. perfect. It was very nice. We're going to wipe the table and then talk about the big item we got. The lamp. Okay. Let's so, clear the table. So I believe this is the very last item from yesterday's haul. It is an abacus lamp. Do you want to show it off? Well, I don't know how much they're going to be able to see, but. So I think after some research, um, I knew it was, it was good enough to get by the price on the bottom. Have you seen the price on the bottom? No. Oh, I see. What is it? <laughs> I can't see it. $250 was the original purchase price and then Goodwill marked it for $40, which of course showed up the bins because nobody wanted to pay $40 for a lamp that has a few issues. Mm -hmm. I think after a lot of research, these were fairly popular in like the 50s, 60s, maybe even 70s. And they're made out of mostly antique abacuses um, from China. And there's a ton of them on and they go anywhere from like $75 to $500. Do I think we're going to get it $500? No, I do not. Because there's like a little piece missing here that's on the side. Mm -hmm. um, the plug is probably 60s, right? Yes. So I don't know if it works. We haven't tested it. It's in pretty good shape past this missing piece. Mm -hmm. What do you think about it? I I think it's fine. I mean, I mean, just because you looked it up, I know it's for yeah. some. But yeah, to me, I wouldn't have got it. I mean, I I saw it, I wouldn't have picked it up. But. Yeah, and they did charge us sixty nine cents a pound. It's probably about three pounds, so we probably paid roughly two dollars for it. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit more. I think I like it. Okay. okay. I will try to sell it on Facebook Marketplace? Question mark. Um, probably for about 30 or $40. I know I could sell it online higher, but the market is going to require me to ship it. And I could probably bubble wrap it, put it in a box and then put it in another box, do the whole double box system. But I'm not really looking to do that. So I'll sell it locally cheaper. I think I'm going to take that route. Yeah. Let me know great. what you think. Yeah. Good. Let's dump out the first bag, which is adorably cute. It's dogs. <clears throat> the first item is a Hershey's bar of chocolate and it's a makeup case or like a pencil case. I'll send it to my 10 year old niece. It has a little eraser made out of, not made out of chocolate, made out of rubber, but meant to look like chocolate. Isn't it cute? It is cute. I have to hold it up because nobody saw it. I'm oh, sorry. So it looks like the wrapper somebody peeled off. So it's like jagged, but on purpose. And then the chocolate. I thought this was adorable. Perfect little bins thing. I found this reusable tote, which says farmer's market. And I liked it. It's very nice. Right? Looks almost new. Yeah. And really sturdy, like the straps feel really sturdy. Mm -hmm. We had just sold two coach purses that I picked up the bins. One was missing a strap, the other had issues. I sold them for, I think like 14 or $15 for the two, but I found a strap today that I think will work and I have yet to ship because they just purchased it. So I'll be including this in the coach purse. So um, the person has an extra strap. Oh, that's cool. I know, and they're not gonna expect it, so. Yay. A fanny pack from Victoria's Secret that says pink. It does need washed. I have almost this exact one in aqua. Hey, show our bag too. It has dogs on it. Did mm -hmm. you see it? I did. Okay. You want to pull something out? Sure. 
looks to me like a pair of shorts by Rawlings with the R on there. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, it has the comfort waistband. I might keep these for me. They are boys or I guess men's. You'll have to hold them up. Nobody can see them. Yep, gray shorts, probably for me. Okay. We have some socks. You want to fish out some other socks? We have three pairs so, of brand new gold toe, the standard of quality. I'll look these up. They only retail for $5, but they're brand new. And you know who these would be going to if they don't resell well? Who would these be going to if they don't resell? Jason? Who? No. Who have we given socks to before? The homeless. The homeless. We have a... Um, I was gonna say healthy homeless population in our area. That's clearly not the right wording, but there are a lot of homeless in this area yes. because of the beaches and the free showers and just where we live, it's very warm. So this might be a perfect thing. Yes, and I see these are Dockers. That's a JC oh, Penny thing, right? Was. Yeah, I guess so. They are all cotton and cotton lycra, so they do have a really nice feel to them. But they don't make those anymore, do they? I don't know, that's a good question. No idea. Ooh, vintage Dockers. Yeah. A tiny little bag. Again, just to put somebody's jewelry in or something small. Oh, there's no name on it? No name. Okay. I picked up a good many little scarves, like really lightweight scarves, not little, just lightweight, that I thought were pretty. Some of them have like Liz Claiborne or like Echo Silk. But again, for wrapping people's items instead of tissue paper, this might be a fun idea. Sure. Very nice. Yeah. Thanks. Well, no, I always ask you about scarves. Is that a Hermes scarf? Oh, you too ask that occasionally. Another makeup bag. This was from this $26 haul today. I just pick up makeup bags to send to people. Well, this is very nice. Right? Yes. Do you want that one? It doesn't have to be makeup. It could be anything. <laughs> no. Your no. gym supplies? No, I okay. don't think so. Okay. <laughs> One of the first things I found today was this Ralph Lauren denim and supply size small dress. And it has pockets and is cotton. 99% sure it is cotton. It is viscose. Feels like cotton. Doesn't it feel like cotton? So what is viscose? Is that just a material they made up? I don't up? know. Okay. I will wash it. It has balloon kind of bubble sleeves that flare out. Not exactly bubble, but um, flare out sleeves. Cute little baby doll dress. Should be able to get $10 to $20. Next item is white. And surprisingly, it's still white. Uh, Athleta, yeah, right. size medium. Is this complete zip? No, like a half zip athletic shirt. This probably would have retailed, I would think, for like $40 or $50 on the Athleta site. And Athleta has a style number on all of their pieces that I can Google, um, there it is, and find out when it's from. So this was from 2017. I should still be able to find the, the name of the item. Can you bleach this? I probably could. I mean, it doesn't need bleach. I was just asking if it's... Yeah, yeah. It's, it's white enough that I think bleach... I don't know if you should really be bleaching a lot of clothing. Bleach tends to break down items. Okay, yes. Something like that might wear differently. Okay. This has no size. I'll have to try it on. I think it's like a size small-ish. It was so pretty. Don't you think? Will you hold one side for Yes, me? I will. <laughs> it has the, um, the tie in the front to keep it shut. I love this kind of thing. I just think this is so pretty over a camisole or even a dress. Don't you think it's pretty? So this isn't like a nightgown thing? No. Okay. It's like a wear out of the house with jeans and a camisole okay. type of thing. It's cool. Yeah. Very nice. Thanks. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of clothes both yesterday and today, but they were really picked through and they weren't super nice. Yeah, well, I noticed the last couple of times, well, obviously the last couple of times we've been there, there's more clothes, more bins yeah, of clothes. Yeah, it seems to consistently be more clothing. Yeah. But not a ton of nice clothing this time. This is Knox Rose. I think it's Walmart. It's an extra, extra large. It has some lace detail and is completely sheer. There is a pleating, so it is meant to be like very loose fitting. 
um, and it has the keyhole neckline that ties at the top. Nice. Thanks for showing that off. Sure. Next are a few wigs. I'm assuming the same person donated these because they are a very similar haircut and we're in the same bag. Wigs I have sold, I could probably sell day in and day out, even non-human hair, which these are fake wigs, but they're well made. They have brands inside of them. They're different, but I would expect these to be probably like $15 I would get on eBay. I do shampoo them in just like a bowl of something. And then um, sometimes I comb them out. These I will because they're not curly. Sometimes I don't. I hang them in the shower to dry. Okay. This is a scarf. It is brand new. It's Lulu acrylic. It's not an itchy acrylic though. But I loved the color. Again, just something I, I can say, include in some color, of these boxes. For sure. Yeah. Then we have what might be my favorite purchase, clothing-wise, flax? flax. And it's their newer label. Flax is pricey. I bet you these retailed for about $90. Wow, really? Yeah, they're cropped. Just white pants. And again, the white, I don't see any issues. Do you? I don't. But, I mean, you have to wear something under these, right, or whatever? Oh, yeah. Yeah, these are meant to, to wear something long under or, like, be over a swimsuit. It's like oh, that okay. kind of lifestyle. Oh, okay. I got you. Another item. This is Suzanne B-E-T-R-O, size large. Will you hold it like mm -hmm. there? I sure will. It is like that kind of kimono just wear over a t-shirt type of thing. You could tie it in the front or not. I thought the print was kind of pretty with the blue and white flowers. It might not be like the most trendy item, but I love this kind of stuff. You just throw on over a t-shirt and you're good to go. Another little scarf. Is this an Hermes? No, <laughs> definitely not. I wish it was. And this was from today, $26. We rounded up both times. These are, you can hold it. Okay. I see you reaching for it. There is a second sock somewhere. I don't know where it is. It got stuck on something. Okay. These are toe socks. So they're meant for yoga, working out, um, probably Tai Chi, that kind of thing. Fab Fit Fun included toe socks like a gazillion years ago, and I really enjoyed them. So when I sleep, especially when I nap and I'm not like ridiculously tired, I this is just a weird quirk thing for me. I can't have skin touch skin. So the only thing that's touching are my toes, and I've kind of gotten over that. But when Fab Fit Fun sent these to me, I wore them to bed and I liked them very much. I wore them out and I didn't want to replace them because they were pricey. So what happened to them? They wear out. Yeah, I oh. got holes in them. I wore them so much. Um, I did cut a slit in them because the elastic was a little bit. So I just like cut a little bit of a hole in them. But I think I'm going to try that again. They're in really good shape um, for you socks. So I'm okay, going to try them again. All right. We'll see. I try not to give into a lot of my quirks because I have so many um, and I take medication for anxiety and a lot of these things, but you know, <laughs> they are what they are. This is a little clutch. I'm sure originally it had some kind of little gold chain. Oh yes. Isn't this beautiful? Is that shell? Well, like a mother yeah. of pearl type of shell inlay? It is sort of similar to what you're saying, yes. I think I can use it as an eyeglass case. If those $200 oh, eyeglasses sell, I think I'll probably include this. Oh, that's right? nice. Sure. It's it's clearly a big eyeglass case, but it's fancy. It accordion folds. Is there like well, lace? I don't think it's necessarily an eyeglass case. Oh, I don't think so either. I think oh, it's oh, meant oh, okay. for like okay. a yes. clutch yes. or a handbag. Yes. yes. But that's what I plan to do with it. It sounds great. Thanks. A little cat um, purse. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you're keeping in this, but tokens? there's Subway nothing. Tokens? Yeah, there's nothing that could fit in here. Subway tokens. I'm sure there's a Metro card at this point. <laughs> I'm sure it's not tokens. But whatever you put in there, it's going to be nearly impossible to get out. So like little coins maybe. But it's cute. 
You could still do this. Chips from the VFW. <laughs> like, I don't know what that means. Chi like chips for drinks. Like they'll pass them out to people still. Oh, oh, oh. I'm like, oh, here's okay. a chip. Like metal this. tokens. Well, they're plastic. They're Got like, it. here, this guy brought you a drink. Here's a chip for it. Yeah, I'm sure the VFW person would want to wear that back. <laughs> no, but you were making fun of the subway token thing, but I'm saying yeah. that still happens at the VFW. I thought you meant like edible tortilla chips. I'm like, why would you put... Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Victoria's Secret Pink. This does have a few little marks on the back, but I think we'll be able to get them out. They don't look like anything serious. It's a backpack. It is a backpack. It's their pink version. It is sequin, sequin. It's heavy sequin. It has a winking emoji. I tried to get this off. I couldn't get it off. I couldn't find scissors, so we did pay for this. But um, don't you think this is rather nice? It's sparkly. I, I'm not sure. Feel it. Feel the weight of it. Oh, yeah. It's it, like well it, yeah. made Oh, yeah. Sparkly. I think it's well made, sure. sure. Yeah. I was impressed with it. Okay. I bought it. Then I found this belt. To go with your backpack, obviously. Seriously. Um, a lot of times when I sell dresses or cardigan sweaters and it's missing a belt or there is a belt or not a belt, um, sometimes I picture them. Like I take a photo with this and say the belt isn't included because it adds a lot of interest to the photo. This one probably is like a large, I would think, because it's, it's rather big on me. Okay. But um, I liked it. It was sure. handmade. So this is... A, a, what is there a name for this? A cummerbund or something? Maybe I don't know. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, some kind of belt. Okay. Then one of my favorite items of the day, a set of two. You can show the second one. Alrighty. Bags from Laurel Birch, and she's kind of known for these types of handbags. They're in really good shape. Like, look at the bottom of mine. Is yours also in really good shape? Uh, well, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it gives a little cleaning, I guess, but... Yeah. Yours has a little cat. They are cat-themed. I would expect these to bring, like, maybe $30 as a set. Look at the bead on mine. Oh, wow. And it's, like, can-painted, I guess? I don't know. It's really impressive. Not to mention, they put that on there after they... I mean, before they sewed it. Yeah. The bead is just so... Yeah. So cool. And it does zip shut. And there's, like, extra pockets and really cool little... No logo. Yeah, it, there's a lot of thought that goes into these bags. I would say I'm so, really yes. impressed by the quality. Yes. Was that? Oh no, we have one more bag from that haul. So again, still on the twenty-six dollars. Can you believe how much twenty-six dollars gets you at the bins? <laughs> right. Wow. Well, yeah. Even if you went to Walmart and tried to find a handbag, it might be like ten, fifteen dollars. That's true. So the first thing is bags. We found a bag day one, that big black bag. And then today we found a whole bunch of these bags. And we do pay for these. They do weigh them. Anytime we can find bags that we can reuse, we buy. Garbage bags, yes. Yeah, absolutely. they're cheaper at the bins than yep. to buy them anywhere else. <laughs> these lights are battery operated. Oh, I thought those they, were real candles. Right? They have the wax. They're actual real wax. Okay. So the set of these... Um, these didn't have a remote control, so the remote control ones go for a higher price. I think probably would have been like 10 to $15 for the set of three. And I mean, we could set them up in the background. You can just put them anywhere. Sometimes there's a timer. Oh, there is a timer. <laughs> so I was excited to find these. Again, might sell them, might give them away to somebody, might keep them. Bear found bows. Do you want to tell us about your bow find? Well, other than they were in the bins, and I thought you might want some bows because I know you use them for toppers once in a while. So yeah, I just picked up a whole bunch of them, and you kept the ones that you wanted. Yeah, I picked the blue and kind of this burgundy. There's a few more of these. And then I thought for, like, 4th of July, this kind of looked patriotic. Indeed it does. So I didn't pick up all of them, but just the really nice ones. Okay. More paintbrushes. Now, are these paintbrushes, but these are the same, are these for the... Um, not pottery. This not was pottery. a different day. So this is paintbrushes? This is paintbrushes. They're both angled. Okay. I use these a lot of different ways around the house, and um, they're a little bit hard, but you can soak those and, yes. and make them soft again. Yeah. Great. They just look like nice paintbrushes. Mm -hmm. A 
Dyson vacuum part. There was a big bag of vacuum parts. I always look through the vacuum parts. And this was the only one that was Dyson and it looks super clean. Dyson vacuum parts go for anywhere between five and $50. So I always pick these up. There was a portable uh, sweeper similar to a Dyson that was in the bin that I was looking at, but I didn't get it because it was, you know, wasn't a Dyson, but it was similar. Okay. Even the non Dyson ones do pretty well. Mm -hmm. So I didn't see that. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh, we have a few little lighthouse items. Again, a Patreon member likes lighthouses. This one's a trivet or a coaster, and this one's just like a lightweight wood was a ornament yeah. or whatever. She can cut off the little thing and just mm. put it somewhere. Sure. Okay, your turn to talk about the fun stuff. Oh, uh, well, we almost never let a bungee cord pass us by because, a nice you know, one. I use bungee cords a lot to haul my equipment around. Don't you think around. that's like a nice bungee cord? Why, yes, as bungee cords go, I would say this is a fine bungee cord. Like top of the line bungee cord. Yes, probably that's true because of the type of hooks that are on it. I was impressed. Okay, good. How about your plate? Well, we have an ongoing thing with our plates in the house. Both of us get really accustomed to using a certain type of plate, and then we don't want to stray from it. Yeah. So we've tried different kinds. These look similar to the ones that we seem to be very fond of. So I thought we tried. You them. are very fond of. I've moved on to the Target ones. We okay. need microwave safe um, plastic plates. My hands the other day, I was holding something and I was cracking myself up. Thankfully, it wasn't anything serious. My hands spasmed and then the thing was on the floor. I was like, yep, sorry about that. So no real china in our house. Oh, yeah. But you like some that we found at the bins years ago and they were made in Italy. And that was the only marking. And of course, we could never run across. Yeah, those again, I, really, so. I still use them. So those will be your replacement. Well, no, let's not talk about replacement. Let's just talk about <laughs> addition to see. Come on now. Hold on. Get crazy here. Some more nice envelopes. These have um, also the peel and stick. Good. White envelopes. Mm -hmm. Then I found um, a whole bunch of little travel size items. This is Bio, Bio Lodge. I used to be part of um, some promotional modeling and I did a promotional modeling job for hair and I recognized this. I was one with an A like the, the model for some other brand. It was a high-end brand. But Balayage is also pretty good. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing this right. This looks new. A lot of times these aren't, but I'm going to be using it for myself, so I didn't care. And Molten Brown Body Lotion. I'll let Bear smell this because if he doesn't like it, it's a pass. Mm, it's not bad. It's not stuff we have. A lot of times with really heavy lotion, and this really isn't, I'll put them on my feet and then put plastic bags over them and then put socks on. And I just kind of let my feet sit there while I'm typing. It doesn't seem too bad. Right? Mm -hmm. I thought so. Um, it's grapefruit, so okay. not a bad find. Good. A few other things from today. This looked brand new and was a cast iron, I don't know, hook cat. We have a Patreon member that loves cats, so she'll be getting this. That's like an umbrella hook. You hang outside your door. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. you put it in the wall outside your door and put an huh. umbrella on. I assume just like a robe. Here, take this. Oh, up. okay. This okay, in. it could be a robe, sure. But it's pretty heavy, you know, to put in a door for a robe. Yeah. Um, this bracelet, which was brand new with tags, it is a bracelet um, charity brand. It's really cute. It has a mustard seed in the tiniest little glass bottle ever. Mm -hmm. And then there's um, a few little charms that say hope. And it is moving mountains for adults with disabilities. MalloryPageDesigns.com. And again, just a freebie to add to somebody's package. I thought it was generic enough and I liked the tiny little glass bottle. Very nice. But you know, at the bins, it was what, like five cents. It was free carpet bags i have had such a special place in my heart for carpet bags ever since anna green gables anna green gables growing up to me was like the person i wanted to hang out with the most okay. the whole anna green gables life i was very much about and she had a carpet bag so any kind of tapestry carpet bags i love i just sold one for 12 dollars here on youtube i might have brought more on ebay but it's not brighton 
but it's very similar this piece is it's real leather it's really well made is, don't you think it's really is, well yes, made yes is brighton a name of the fancy carpet bags or something uh it's like a mid -brand. well you said it's not bright it's, I'm brighton sorry. does this a lot like this silver tone heart type of thing so once again you just happen to know that yeah. brighton is the carpet bag go-to pretty much they do carpet bags they don't always do carpet bags they're known for other things they're okay. not known for carpet bags all right I just know they do carpet bags. Okay. This one is by H R A V I H Ravi in Dallas, and it's an original. Okay, Are, aren't things mostly all originals? I don't know. And I think you have the very last item we found. Oh, <laughs> the giant this? bag in front of you. Is this yes. what you're talking about? Yes. And we separated it specifically because of what it is. Are you curious? Okay, so you remember <laughs> earlier in the video, we showed the vacuum bag. The space bag, yes. Space bag, yes. It's, well, in order for those to work properly, you should have a hose this size, and it seals right over those, and, you know, it takes all the air out of them. Unfortunately, our Dyson does not have a hose this size. So I thought this was on a <laughs> vacuum that was not really much good there for sale. So I just took the hose off of it thinking that perhaps I could slide one end onto the attachment of our Dyson and then this would go right in the thing. Our and Dyson worked. It was just a little bit of work. It took like 30 seconds. Well, you have to put longer. The, you have to, we have to put the Dyson down and try to put wrap a towel around it to try to get a seal on it. Yeah, the seal and You never really perfect. get the seal like you're supposed to have. So we'll see how this works. So because the seal wasn't perfect and it took a little bit longer, Bear's mind immediately tries to fix every situation. <laughs> is that is that safe to say? Well, I don't know about every situation, but you know, I'm not doing much to save myself from this current situation, so, <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> so those were the bin hauls, yeah. again, $29, $26. Um, the other day I had lidocaine injections. Oh my goodness, those are just like life-changing. Speaking about life-changing, we were yes. speaking about the other day. Mm -hmm. That is life-changing for me. I can now sit without pain, which is incredible. I yes. can bend, I can eat without pain. So coming back from um, the doctor, I pass a Goodwill, which the prices were crazy. I didn't buy anything. And then I priced, uh, found a thrifty 50 cent. I've got to start that story over. And then after I left Goodwill without anything, I passed a 50 cent sale at our favorite local charity shop. So the next bag will have 50 cent items. There's not a lot. I am planning on sending them to thread up if they don't sell here. But if there's something you want, let me know. So this is everything I found um, other than a shirt and shorts for Bear, which he's not wearing tonight, but I think you will wear. Yeah. Um, I saw it. 2x cotton gingham pink and white three-quarter sleeve cotton shirt i said cotton twice <laughs> we'll go through these quickly uh this is coral bay which had bells our department store is like it's a florida brand i'm sure size small aqua roll up sleeve it's got the adjustment and it ties in the front This is BB or Baby, it's their 2B. It's a size extra small. It has um, the full slip and then there's like a sheer overlay black and white dress. Say that for last. LuLaRoe kimono in a size large. This is blue with a feather print and sleeves. I would say those are a bracelet length. Three-quarter, three-quarter length sleeve. Aren't you proud for how quickly we're moving? Yes, you're doing very well. Thanks. Mm -hmm. This is New York Collection, size large, made in the USA. It is a dress, and it does have the sash that wraps around. Slight elastic, very comfy, kind of pull over your head, crisscross neckline, um, but not tacked. So if you're needing that extra coverage, you might want to tack that. Oh, this is a dress. This is London Times size 8. 
It looks black, but it's actually like a denim. Did you notice that's a, that? That's a dark blue, I would say, yes. Yeah, a dark blue, but it has like striations that vaguely look like denim. It doesn't feel like denim. No, it doesn't. It is a cotton poly spandex, fully lined. It has the V neckline with the ruffle, empire, umpire waist. No pockets, but nice piece. This is Doncaster, which is a higher end label. It is 100% wool, more on that soon, made in the USA. Fully lined black cocktail dress. It does have a slit in the front, but doesn't go up super far. It's wool. Yes, it's heavy. It is heavy. It's got a nice weight to it. it does need steamed, but it's not like super itchy wool. It is lined in polyester, but it's not like a fuzzy wool. I would agree. The last, nope. Yep. The last item is a three-piece suit by Tahari Arthur S. Levine. It's a 12 petite. Petites are a hard size. It's brown with a white dot stripe. So the shell with a zipper. Um, fully lined, really nice zipper pockets. The blazer, two buttons. And the pants um, with pockets. So that whole piece, uh, that whole suit was 50 cents, which I thought was a good deal. Then we found, I found these little ice cream spoons. Could you imagine eating ice cream with this little? Well, oven? I personally would not <laughs> never eat them. Um, and they're very whimsical. They reminded me of like a whimsical Mackenzie Childs kind of brand. They were made by Boston Warehouse. And the last item was this really cool mirror. It's obviously old by the speckles on the glass. One side magnifies, I would say like two times, and it has this really pretty feel it. Oh, it's like, yes, yeah, embossed like a, a little bit. Yeah, like a raised floral. Mm -hmm. It feels nice in the hand. It's very weighty though. Yeah. So that was that shop. When my mom was in town, we decided to go to Goodwill fairly late at night. I think they closed at 8, so we were there at like 7.30. And the only thing I found past a wallet for Bear was this Lululemon size 6 jacket. They did want $13 for it, and Arguable never has any sales. So I will be asking a little bit more. But it is in excellent condition it's a very pale mint green and black stripe so you paid 13 for it i paid 13 okay. for it and that is everything we are going to stop and clean up and get into our p.o box mail as you probably know i turned 40 this past week yes i can finally stop saying i'm almost 40 and the day after i turned 40 for my birthday I got lidocaine injections and there was a woman sitting in the secondary waiting room and she came in and she said, do you work here? And I said, no, I'm patient. She said, oh, because you look so young. And then I said, I'm in my forties. And that was the first time I've used that. So, Good for you. Thanks. I was like one day into my forties. Yeah. My mom came and gifted us a sign and balloons and all fun stuff. So we at least hung the sign up and so many people sent cards. So yes, we're going to open nice. those first. So many cards and a few packages came in. Bear was gifted. He was handed this, this basket at a retirement community. Yes, it was, it was a full of piece of cake. Because as I was leaving, they said, do you want a piece of cake? And I said, absolutely. <laughs> and she said, do you think your wife will want a piece? And I said, absolutely. Did I get to eat the cake? Absolutely not. I don't eat cake. Yeah, but they didn't need to know that. <laughs> so let me open some cards. This one is from TD. I'm guessing there'll be a name in the card. Thank you so much for, you didn't have to send cards. May kindness return to you in the same beautiful way that it was given. Oh, because she wrote only on this side, mm -hmm. I can now cut it and use this, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Bear and Melissa, thank you for being you. Mm -hmm. May the Lord bless you and keep and his face shine upon you. Hugs. Oh, Tina, T-E-N-A. She is one of our Patreon members. I okay. recognize her cool. name. 
and she gifted us this magnet. How oh, nice. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. Very sweet, a Bible verse. Bear loves waterfalls. I do. You have stood under many a, <laughs> a waterfall in pools. When we used to be able to travel, before you got sick, we would go to resorts and stuff anytime they had a... Well, in fact, our honeymoon, that started on our honeymoon, they had a giant waterfall that you could stand under, but you didn't like it because it was too... I it, don't remember. It hit you too hard. Yeah, I'm sure it was. Yeah. The next one, well, I'll open it and see if I know the person. I'm trying not to show addresses. Oh! <laughs> Wishing you peace for the holidays. This one is from um, Robert, maybe? I'm not sure. But they are Shall We Be Friends? Oh, Valentine's nice. Day, vintage cool. Valentine's Day cards. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, that's so funny. So cute. Yep. <laughs> Thank you so much. The colors on this are just so fun and bright. They are very fun. Oh, this is for my Annie Vaughn. Probably didn't need to read hers. That just made it into the basket. Her name is Yvonne, but when I was little, we just called her Auntie Vaughn. And it stuck. I'm still calling her that. Me too. In my 40s. Yeah, you also call her that. Mm -hmm. On your birthday with some pretty roses? Yes, I, well, no, there's... Uh, Peonies? No. I don't know no, flowers. No, no. <laughs> Um, your light shines through on TV. Thank you for being so honest. Thank you for being you. Sending good vibes for some good bin days. Ah. You were right. Sincerely, Ray Marie. Thank you so much, Ray Marie. Love the way you spell your name. Yes. Very pretty. Mm -hmm. This is from Brenda. Oh, it's so fun to get. I, I never get cards. I mean, like my mom or my aunt. But yeah. Um, blessed are the birthday people, for they shall enjoy. Hmm. Blessed are those who have many candles, for they shall make light of birthdays. Love that. Blessed are those who like being remembered on their birthday, for thou they shall receive a special card that says, Blessed are you. Hmm. <laughs> awesome, Brenda. May the Lord bless this coming year for you and yours. I subscribe to you and your mom, and must say you both radiate the light of Jesus Christ. Prayers and blessings, Brenda. How pretty the yes. inside of this card Very is. Nice. I don't want to show her last name, but yeah. so pretty. I'll be able to cut that off and use that. This was from my sister. <laughs> this was from my niece. Oh, and this one's from my mom. She specifically used it, so with a gift card. Um, I can cut off the front. Nice. <laughs> like Thanks, it. mom. Yeah. This is from Lisa. Love the washi. Never seen that washi. Palm tree. Mm -hmm. Very nice. To Melissa, happy birthday. FYI, I also watch your mother's YouTube channel, LOL. Both of you ladies are remarkable. Thank you for all your insight and experience. I hope your special day is full of fun and wonder. My eBay account is, oh good, I'll leave it below. Wild, L-I-L-D-E cap c a p underscore six i am also reseller three years now sincerely lisa thanks lisa congratulations on selling for three right. years that's Good job. that's a great milestone nice turquoise aqua envelope there each and every day is a gift so true oh and yeah i can cut it Hope your birthday and the year ahead holds more laughter, more happy surprises, and more wonderful memories than ever before. Marilyn, I recognize your name. It's M-E-R-R-I-L-Y-N. So pretty. The one with the same QVC plaid top. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> I wore that to um, Goodwill the night my mom was here. I put it over my overalls. The overalls came from Kathy. Quir quirky girl. I still have those. I love this. Hip, hip, hooray. Fun. Very nice. Nice card. Beautiful. Wishing you a wonderful birthday. I hope it is filled with joy and the kind of joy you bring to others. We, of course, have never met, 
but you keep me company when I can't sleep at night via YouTube videos. I'm Thanks. sorry you can't sleep at yeah. night, and I hope I'm keeping you company now and you get some sleep. Mm. Uh, your voice is so calming and relaxing. You have no idea how much I appreciate that when I'm struggling to sleep. I'm there a lot. You are a gift, truly. So happy birthday, sweet Melissa. I hope this year brings you many blessings. You are enough. You are so enough. It is incredible how enough you are. Happy birthday, Tammy from California. Oh, even pretty on the inside. Well, I can't believe how long it's... Oops. Go ahead. No, no. I can't believe how long it's taken me for a song reference. Oh, yeah. But this is a wonderful place for it anyways because she said Sweet Melissa. And I we, I have a friend who every time she hears the song Sweet Melissa, she feels the need to pray for you. That's very nice. That so is I'm very referencing sweet. the song Sweet Melissa, which I believe is by the Almond Brothers. Oh, really? Yes, I'm not sure. I'll just tell you right now. I'm not sure, but I believe it's by the Almond Brothers. Bet you they don't spell it with two L's and two S's. The almond? <laughs> you mean? No. <laughs> I'll see Melissa. Mm. My name, actually, I'm sure you've heard the story a gajillion times, was spelled originally with one L on my birth certificate, the nice normal spelling of Melissa. And at the age of 11, I had the opportunity to change it. And I asked my mom, and I was 11, and she agreed because I had been spelling like M E L L I S S A for years. So she let me change it, which was. Very nice. Yes. Your mom's great. She huh. really is. She <laughs> really is. She's amazing. Wishing you a very happy birthday with many more to come. Best wishes on your big birthday. God bless Vicky with an I. Hi, Vicky. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Such a pile of cards. Thank you all, all right. so yes. much. And Bear does check the P.O. box mostly once a week. So if yours hasn't come yet, it's just because we're filming on a Saturday. Yes. It's Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, and he hasn't been to the bins today. To the, the bins. Post office. To the post office. Then I got this and I assumed, um, oh, here's another birthday thing. Celebrate. Celebrate your abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your righteousness. Melissa, happiest of all birthdays from a friend in the, the desert. I don't recognize that desert. I wonder where that is. Sonorian Desert. The Sonorian Desert. Mm -hmm. That's what I would have said too. Thank you for bringing you and sharing information about reselling. Sincerely, Mel. Oh, Arizona. Oh, I was going to guess Arizona. The postmark is Arizona. Thank you. So I am so sorry. This came, um, it came to my P.O. box, but I just assumed sometimes we have people, companies send us things like promotional items to try out. And I assumed it was that, and I don't know why. Oh, because it came from Amazon, and the person sent me an actual thing. So I'm hoping there's there's a name in here. Oh, it's so cute. It's a little oh, tin. Yes. It's an Amazon gift card. They sent me a gift card. Wow, that's really nice. That is so sweet. It's a really cool way to send it, too. Right? Yeah. There's a way I have to not lose this to send a thank you. I can scan this QR code to send a thank you. Mm -hmm. So hopefully I know how to do that. I will work on it and get you a thank you. But thank you so much. Yes. That was really, really sweet. I'm sorry I opened it. Next, we have three packages that came. And I don't know what's in any of them. Do you want to open something? No, I'm fine right here watching you. Okay. <laughs> as long as you don't need help, you need help, I'll help you, of course. Thanks. This one is from Mariah. Hi, Mariah. I know her well. I'll take out all of the, the things. We were using that. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of stuff in there. <laughs> really. Ribbon. And some washi. Oh, aqua washi. Oh, flamingos. That's so cute. <laughs> oh, look at all the fun ribbon. Thank you, Mariah. <laughs> you know me well. Okay. Everything is individually wrapped. I thought maybe you could use these as package toppers. Oh, very fun. Whoa. Oh, I love her. Am 
might have to keep her. She's made of beads, like her her head is an aqua pearl. She holds a little purse and she's wearing a little um, doily dress. She's so cute. Oh, and then these, in the midst. Oh, they're really pretty quotes that look like somebody typed them up on a typewriter. Okay. On like a really nice paper, feel that. Yes. These are beautiful. So very nice. I'll just read one. Yes. Love always shines through the real more clearly than through the perfect. Oh, so true. I got one. Hope is the sunrise of the heart. Oh, these are awesome. I will be using these. These are beautiful. Thank you. I wonder if she made those or she just found these. Love the sound of tissue paper. <laughs> really? Don't you agree? <laughs> well, I never really thought about it, I must say. Really? Yeah. This is to keep or sell. Oh my goodness, I'm keeping Yikes. this. Yeah, it's really nice. This is gorgeous. <laughs> it's a hair barrette and it's a very thick, it's like five millimeters thick. It's so pretty. It's, it's really cool. inlaid pearl. Yeah. That's like been carved. That's gorgeous. Thank you. Okay, everything you're saying to use as package toppers, I'm keeping so far. Mm -hmm. We're saving those ribbons. I've been saving all of my extra little bits and bobs of ribbons because sometimes I just measure them too long okay. or guess too long. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to send them to Rhea. Rhea has sent us so many like scrapbooking, oh, no. just stinking adorable items. Look at that cute little bird. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is stinking adorable. It looks like something I bought from my mom as a kid. I used to have birds from the Cracker Barrel. They were like signed. I'm sure everybody had them. They were glass birds. This one goes from like a lime green to an emerald to a blue in a few shades. So cute. What do you mean they were signed? I don't know. Like somebody was making them for the Cracker Barrel. It was like a Oh, like it was supposed to be some glass. famous glass guy or something, right? Yeah, I yep. guess so. I don't know. Right. Like everybody had them. Okay. Hey, you. The one with the birthday, why don't you put on that beautiful smile of yours, eat some cake and celebrate. It's awesome. Melissa, sending you happy, happy birthday wishes. You are such an amazing light to this world and I hope your day is as special as you are. You can tell I'm feeling slightly well by the way I'm reading. When my pain is high, I read just like my brain doesn't process. So um, yeah, I'm doing rather well. Uh, you carry yourself with such grace. I am so glad that I stumbled across your channel and wanted you, wanted you to know what a blessing you are. Mm, nice. Thanks, Mariah. You share our birthday with your my dad, which is pretty oh. cool. Happy birthday, Mariah's dad. Yeah. I wonder if you also live in Indiana. That was so sweet. I'm really going to struggle with giving either one of these. Oh, and the bird, too. This is just the cutest thing. I've never seen anything like this. I know you're, oh, she has a little heart torso. Somebody made that. Yeah. Right? Yep. So stinking cute. One of the things I do once we get off of camera is photograph um, the person's address and all of the stuff they sent so I can send a thank you. So I don't want to Good, good idea. Push this off the table. Okay. It's a good idea. Yeah. We well, only have a couple things left, right? There is one thank you card that's um, needing to be sent out prior to this. So I will do that soon. Yeah, two more boxes. This one is from Anne Eckhart. I covered addresses. Can you do that? Yep. And Anne Eckhart is the bin pickers, right? No. Oh, not the bin pickers. Anne is Anne. Oh, that's right. She just right. got a new dog uh, named Teddy. Oh, my goodness. Remember I showed her the picture? Yes. He's so stinking adorable. Her dog, Lucy, just passed away. And her other dog, Charlie, doesn't know yet what to think about the puppy. So cute. Oh, I ordered these. <laughs> That's funny. This is 
not a birthday surprise. Okay. This, these are t-shirts. She's clearancing out all of her, um, her supplies, inventory. her stock inventory. That's the right word. These are things I ordered. Okay. Some of them are for my sister, so I'm not going to open them. That's funny. Can you open that one too? Can you get it? One more box. This is from Misty. Mm -hmm. That was terrible. I was going to say, did you want me to open it? No, that's okay. She wrote, happy birthday in marker. It's your day. Happy meal. Happy mail. Happy meal. Sent with love. For you, happy mail. Special delivery. It's fun little stickers. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Lots of stuff in there. Oh, fun. Let's keep all that. Okay, put this back in for now. I should open the card first. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a vintage card. Happy birthday to you. That's so sweet. Wow. She made it so I can reuse it. That's, that's awesome. Melissa, happy birthday. Welcome to the 40s club. It's not so bad, I promise. Lisa told me that you have a sweet meaning to your name, Honeybee. That's true. How fitting. I saw the keychain and knew you had to have it. The glass candle holder is called a fairy light. I know it's not the exact color of aqua. Mm. Any shade of blue is really awesome. Even green I love. Um, but they are something I collect and wanted you to have one too. Thank you, Misty. They make a room feel magical with a candle lit in them. Love candles. Happy birthday, sweet friend. Love you, Misty. Oh, then she wrote, Drifter, Junker, Vintage Hunter. I'm sorry, I screwed that up. Thank you for writing it. Look how pretty. Yes. Save that. Curious what this is. Is this the keychain? Oh, beautiful. Mm. It's a cross. It says, those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. One of my very favorite verses. Thank you, Misty. Oh, feel it. It's so That's cool. smooth. Yes. Save this bow. Oh, there's another one. I'll, I'll open this one first. Love the little um, heart and lipstick print tissue paper. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> oh, there's a bee on it. It says, perhaps the bee is more honored, not because of what she does, but because of what she does for others. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. It's a keychain with a little bee charm and um, a silver, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's it's engraved. Back as a young kid in rural Pennsylvania, when I was in my hunting days, wow. I had a hand warmer that had a wick in it. You'd light it, and then you'd put it in. It was almost exactly like this little velvet. Really? you put it, and then you'd hold it in your hands to warm your hands up. This will be saved. Okay. I think I've sold like eight pieces of jewelry that need shipped Monday, so somebody will be getting that. See, I'm carefully taking this off. That will be saved. Lately, I've had so many pieces of ribbon and like little things that bears needed to move this table to the, the shipping center. Yeah. That's easy. <laughs> okay, last box. dropped the other day. Do you remember? You were standing right there. I don't know. It was. Oh. Do you want to open one? Sure. I think I have a second <laughs> pair of scissors somewhere. Hmm, it's all right. We'll share. Oh, you got a pair. We have Mary's scissors and then we have new scissors. Mm -hmm. And by new, I mean not new scissors. Wrapping this <laughs> Here's Oh, oh, so pretty. Oh. 
Oh, that's cool. Beautiful. I'm guessing this is a second piece to this. I'm guessing you're right. At least if I ever get it open. <laughs> she wrapped it really well. She really did. Oh, I bet you it sits. I'll be able to use it for so many things. I wonder. Oh, I don't know. Oh, maybe. Yes, yes. You put a candle in there. Yeah. Let's put a candle in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so pretty, Misty. Gorgeous. I could see myself using it like that or putting candy in it when, like, um, not for us because I would eat all the candy. I was going to say. Very sick. Yeah. But when uh, people come to visit, I usually put candy. I'll have to try that out. We have candles um, that I just picked up. Mom had stuff like that. Really? Yeah. I, I know she had bowls that she handed down to me. I know she had bowls that she handed down to me that were like this color, but they didn't have all of the texture to it. Love that. Thank you so much. I think she actually, I think she had this exact thing in like uh, sort of a brown copperish gold kind of really? thing. Really? Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. Oh, I love it so much. It's so me. It's so pretty. Very cool. Yep. Thank you all for the birthday wishes. I'm officially 40. Anything to say? No, thanks for all the stuff and the fun stuff and for sticking with us. At, we know how long it possibly is by now, but it's true. Oh, you mean long. the minutes? Yes. You were like the four hour mark. <laughs> yes. I don't know. What time is it? Yeah. It's a quarter till 11. I think we started around nine. Yeah, it's probably about right. Yeah. yeah. So not that okay. long. Okay. Want to have a bloomies on three? No, I oh. want to say a big thank you. Oh, a big thank you. Okay, good. Yeah. I like it. Thank you so much. I not only appreciate all of the birthday wishes and the presents and the cards, but I appreciate all the comments. We have such a nice comment section. Like, we do. Such a nice comment section. Yes. And that just means a lot. And any comments that aren't very nice get deleted. But everybody else, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for allowing us to come into your life and to whether you're watching us to sleep or just throughout your day, I use YouTube the same way. So I appreciate you and that's it. I'm not going to cry again. Well, we can't top that. So now we're ready to go. We're ready to go. Okay. Bloomers on three. One, One two, two, three. three. Bloomies. We hope, hope your, your day, day is blooming, blooming with joy. joy. Bye. Bye. Thanks. We hope your day is blooming with joy.